Nebraska athletic director Trev Alberts was on with Nick Handley, who has a show in Nebraska, and they were talking about realignment. Now, this is a big topic, of course, and you always like to get an idea from the admins at some of these Big Ten schools, etc., to figure out what is the what's the atmosphere like, what's going on, what's happening behind the scenes that maybe we don't know about. And he was incredibly honest here. I was a little shocked that he was willing to answer this question uh, as much as he did. Now, this is just a quick snippet of it. You can go listen to the full interview on the Nick Handley Show podcast from Friday, August 5th. It's it's interesting. Uh, let's go ahead and dive over to it, and I'll, uh, I'll just play this out and let you guys hear this snippet. Big Ten is cooling off on that. Uh, what have you kind of been made abreast to when it does come to, you know, what the Big Ten is looking to do and what you've heard from Kevin Warren and, and the folks there in Chicago? Well, first and foremost, um, we're really fixed, you know, fixated right now on on, on getting our media deals done. And uh, I think we've made really good progress. And I think we're going to, uh, you know, work really hard to get them across the finish line and the goal line and and, um, and then look to the future. And so, you know, I, I think um, I think it's, you know, fool's gold for any conference to say, you know, we will no longer be expanding. I think the world continues to change. Um, you know, I think uh, whether it's the Big Ten or other conferences, I think there will be more disruption in terms of there will be more realignment. There will be more changes. Um, that's just natural. Um, the reason some of this change happened was the grant of rights for the PAC 12, you know, were, were up. And so, you know, there was some movement. Um, other conferences have grants of rights that are out much, you know, longer distance, but that mm-hmm. hasn't stopped from some schools from finding a way. So I, I think there will be more change. Um, I think uh, the change will, will will likely happen sooner rather than later. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I would anticipate there being more consolidation. That just uh, seems to be, um, you know, what's ultimately, uh, that's the path that we've been going down. And, and I don't see a strong sentiment to slow that thinking down. Now, let's, uh, let's try and dissect this a little bit. He says here, Uh, I think there will be more change. I think the change will likely happen sooner rather than later, and I would anticipate there being more consolidation. This does not sound like realignment is over, and Kevin Warren, of course, came out and did say this at the Big Ten Media Days, right? He said that they are going to be creative and they are going to find ways to add value to the conference, etc. This is a new style of thinking. Right, Jim Phillips, the ACC commissioner, very old school, came up working in universities, etc., is not looking at it from a monetary standpoint. Like, yes, he's got a budget that he's got to deal with, etc., but he never has had to worry with uh, adding value, per se. Right here, Trev Albert's talking about, I don't think it's done. I think we are, like, there's going to be more movement, etc. If you are a conference that is anticipating more movement, obviously you guys have talked about it, right? Like, he didn't say that the Big Ten will be the ones making the moves. Like, yes, the lower levels, absolutely. But I don't believe that realignment is done as far as the Big Ten is concerned. And I think the biggest piece of the puzzle is still Notre Dame. That's absolutely still the biggest piece of the puzzle. And, of course, NBC uh, trying to figure out a way to handle the Big Ten or the Big 12, either one, and Notre Dame, that's that, those pieces have to fit exactly right. Notre Dame has to be able to get to a point where they can keep up with the Big Ten and the SEC from a financial standpoint. If they can't do that, then what does the Big Ten do? Does the Big Ten just go and add Oregon and Washington or whoever else? Uh, then you've got other questions where, you know, where does Stanford fit into this? Stanford, one of the best schools in the country a $37 billion endowment, et cetera. But that endowment in and of itself leads to the question of if Stanford wanted to be really, really good in athletics, wouldn't they be? Wouldn't they just throw money at this thing? Like Stanford doesn't have to have $100 million coming from an annual TV deal. Stanford has all the money they could possibly want. And they don't spend it on athletics. They don't really change what they do academically for their athletics programs. It's it's very interesting how all of this is going to end up fitting, but it doesn't sound like realignment is done, at least not to me. Uh, there's, I think the next big domino is going to be Notre Dame. 
and we'll figure out very quickly if NBC is not one of those teams that gets the Big Ten rights. What does that mean for Notre Dame? Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.